I know what you guys are thinking. This lady is insane. Um, I am 38 weeks pregnant and three days i'll be 39 weeks we're 10 days away from our due date but it's just how the timing worked out honestly it's insane and i feel really bad because i can't really do much but i'm doing the best i can and part of that is taking you guys with me so i'm gonna be taking you guys with me throughout the day see what i do how i contribute and you know just document the process because i haven't really done a good job at documenting this whole process because it's been a process and hopefully soon we can make a video telling you guys all about it how it happened all that because it's a story but for now, I can let you guys know how the apartment looks at the You moment. guys have seen my apartment tour for Christmas when I decorated, you know, the layout of the apartment. But this is the entryway. My dad already unattached that from the wall. Nothing here. We have our little bench we have to take over. Entry table. But this is looking crazy. We have the couch, a bunch of stuff, furniture that we're moving over. I have a few baby things over there because he just has a lot of stuff already and to be honest i did not get to pack every single thing here's some drawers from our day bed some of my summer clothes and shoes chairs mattresses for the day bed and then our dining tables back there and then this is the guest room how it looks day bed is looking real sad right now but have some stuff here everything is basically cleared out or everything is basically packed up i packed everything in the desk then this is how our room's looking we already have the bassinet ready just in case he wanted to come super early we had it ready he had a place to sleep top priority um i just stripped the bed and we're gonna take all those drawers out those are our hospital bags in the corner over there and yeah i took my last bump picture today over here we're looking real big so he's still baking a little bit longer i guess i'm really happy about that to be honest okay guys so i have an update i just packed all of the groceries that i could reach I have these two bags those two bags in the back these two bags and this one there's just a few things i can't do on my own aluminum foil up there some flour and stuff up there but i emptied out all the cabinets which i'm really happy about and then later on i'll do the fridge because obviously it's not gonna get put away right now there's not too much in there anyway Here's the little laundry closet, empty, super empty. I packed that yesterday. I was really excited to pack that, if I'm being honest. And here's how the bathroom is looking right now. It's functional still, but I do have extra curtains and shower liners for the new house, so I don't have to take this down quite yet. Hi, and I already emptied out all of this toothbrushes because, you know, had to brush my teeth this morning but that's about update. it update so my dad's here my husband's dad and my brother helping us move they moved a lot of stuff already the truck is almost full i just went on an adventure to target to get some water um for them and it was an adventure for me i feel like i can't do anything um being 38 weeks pregnant like I just have a lot of like pelvic pain and stuff. So like walking through the store was like something else for me. But I am trying to like take it easy so my baby doesn't come out today because that would be really difficult, you know? So we don't want to induce anything. But I'm here sitting, supervising. I'll show They're you guys. over there in the van, the U-Haul. And they got a lot of the stuff moved out from here and in the room. So we're doing great. Hey guys, so I'm back. It is the nighttime. We got so, 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 so much done. But I'm really tired um, and I want to eat some dinner. So I'm going to give you guys a quick like tour of everything that we did in the morning. 
and I'll explain everything. It was really good. We had some family over to help us and got some Chinese food, filled our bellies for like an early dinner. And then my dad built some furniture and Albert's dad did some other things that needed to be done around the house, which is really nice. And I just, you know, tried to keep comfortable, do things that help me be comfortable because I'm giving, I'm getting so much pain now since the pregnancy is almost over and everything is uncomfortable. So I'm really happy that things are getting settled quickly because I just want to rest. <laughs> but I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. It is the next day. We just woke up in the new house. I feel great today. I slept amazing over here. I don't know if it was because I was so tired, but it was great. I only woke up once, took a shower. The shower was great. I love the shower head, good water pressure, you know. That's really all you need for a good shower. And I don't have any clothes here, so. I had to find this shirt that my husband stole from me a few months ago to put on because my clothes are not here. I have like my dresser, but not my hanged up clothes. But today we are going to go eat something for breakfast. Then we're going to try and get our clothes, some little things that stayed at the apartment just so we can keep it moving and like keep the progress going. Uh, I'm hoping that somebody can move the baby's dresser today so I can start organizing all of his clothes because them being in bins really irks me and also his sheet for his crib is in bins too so I want to set that up but it was amazing how much we got done yesterday. I'm really really happy and I can show you guys a bit just know that it's not very clean. It's not very organized because we literally just moved yesterday. But this I can is the upstairs you. living area. We had a TV in here just to entertain like people that were here working so they can watch the football game and stuff and didn't have to go downstairs, but it's not gonna be here. I'm gonna have a leather couch here on this wall. Uh, we have our coat closet over there. Um, our bench is over there buried behind some stuff two chairs for now just for people to sit but then we have our dining set up here which we ate at yesterday it worked good for now um i'm planning to get a banquette seating um bench for the corner just so it can be more functional here because having a dining set in the corner is not really ideal the curtains are not ours these were left by the previous owners because there's no shades on the window. So we have to work on getting shades and getting curtains and curtain rods. And then I have my little table that I had in my entryway. This is gonna stay here, but this shoe cabinet is gonna go on this wall in the hallway. I have seen videos of people using these Ikea shoe cabinets for storage in the hallway. So eventually, hopefully we can get like two more and just put them up there and have it for storage. I like that idea. And then kitchen, we have our little pantry here. So cool, I never had one. I already filled it up with our stuff. And I think it's gonna be really functional for us. And we have the baby's high chair. He's not gonna use yet, but it's here. And the kitchen. I love the kitchen so much. My dad just got us a microwave, woo -hoo. And um, everything is organized in the cabinet. This has to go. This was left up by the previous owners. And we have like a pot holder shelf that's in here that needs to go up and all our mugs go on there, all our pots and pans. This is a baby monitor they left, which is really, really nice because we're definitely gonna use that. But that's about it for the upstairs. Something really exciting is that we have a backyard now, huge. It's not huge, but it's huge compared to the yard that we had. I'll go out sometime, but not right now because it's really cold. And there's a shed. We have this area to use for like picnics. There's a picnic table over here. And a play set. Yay! Which baby is not gonna use yet, but hopefully some of our family will get a kick out of it. 
but that's really really so nice my to husband's have. shoes are here in the bunch of bins but nothing else in the closet and then our bed our nightstands are good our dressers the mirror over there um i need to move this dresser a little bit to the right because it's way too close to that mirror i that that's bothering me but hopefully that'll get done soon and this room is a travesty the day bed had to get taken apart to get out of the apartment so that is not done but all the furniture is in there my husband's in the bathroom right now i can show you guys later but this is the nursery here's the crib my dad built the crib yesterday put the mobile arm up even though i don't have my mobile yet um that is the conversion to use for a toddler bed so we'll store that in his closet my dad also built this dresser i love this dresser it matches our nightstands and i love the leather poles and it looks so nice with the crib and i have my nursery chair and i love this thing i was sitting in it in a bunch yesterday it's a glider and it also rocks have to move that table over to the other side of it because of the ottoman then we have this dresser i started to organize some of it have like wipes up here diapers down here size one and newborn and then i started organizing his diaper caddies because i want to put one downstairs in the basement in case we're hanging out down there and i just want to change him there but obviously i don't have his clothes yet so i can't put that in there but we have some diapers and wipes in there his closet has all his stuff in it but we have to organize all of that all of his elephant collection i told you guys how many elephants he has but yeah this is all his stuff i also try to do little things i set up his ubi diaper pail and it's back there so but i want this dresser in the closet and this dresser out here is gonna have his changing pad on it so that's really exciting but look at the walls i love the color of this room oh my gosh it's perfect so this is the room that's the most finished i mean our room is the most finished but this room had me more downstairs when i have to go there later because that's rough for me. I went down there yesterday and I started getting a bunch of pelvic pain and that's just not fun. So we're not gonna choose that this morning. We're gonna go get some breakfast. This is the bathroom. Um, I wanna paint our mirror to put it up and that light fixture is gonna get changed out. The vanity and the storage are gonna get painted, but we have at least a functioning bathroom have our shower curtain up and all of that all of our stuff is here and you know somewhere to put our towels for now and then i never had this before linen closet in the bathroom it's amazing i'm excited my mom helped me organize that or really she did it herself but okay so when you go down the steps from the kitchen you enter the basement this first room is not finished yet it might be a playroom or an office, but right now we just have some stuff we have to move into the storage area here. And then there's two doors. We'll go to this one first. There's have some storage stuff, swing that I have to clean for the baby. Bins of decorations. <laughs> this car seat we have to clean as well. Um, but this just leads you to the laundry area so here we have that disgusting sink that we have to replace or put a bathroom here it depends what we decide to do i have all my laundry stuff and our brand new washer and dryer which is so beautiful i love it i'm washing some of the baby stuff right now the last of his stuff that needs to get washed obviously and then there's the storage that we have all our painting stuff on We've been painting non-stop since we got the house, so this is the first week we haven't painted. But this other area is going to be Albert's workshop area. So that's a lot of uh, pegboards on the wall and stuff. He's going to do something with this. This is to store clothes, so we might move that over to the other room. But that's this room. Open here, we get to this room, which I showed you that door over there earlier. This is basically where all of our living room stuff is. 
So this should look familiar. It's just our couch, coffee table, all that stuff. Chairs, that's gonna get moved because it's just housing a lot of um, the things that the previous owners left us and painting supplies that we need, which all of that needs to be cleaned up. But this area here, this other half is going to be our like game area. Like we're gonna have a table, a big table that all our friends can sit at and it's gonna be really fun. We're gonna have all of our board games there and I love the wall. Um, my husband and my friends painted it and I think the color goes so well with our stuff. So that's awesome. I'm hoping to change the ceiling tile whenever we can, not a priority, but a want. And I'm really excited to see what this room is going to turn out like. Okay, so we're at the apartment and it's like so empty here. I'm gonna show you guys. <laughs> so this is the entryway. We need to take our mirror, but everything else is gone. Um, all the groceries from the fridge. So we have that all done and we packed up our Keurig and all of our cleaning supplies from the kitchen. So that's pretty much done. All that's here is stuff that we need to clean when we're gone. Excuse me, sir. I have to take a bassinet today in the stroller. Um, but this is the dining room, it's empty. And then the living room is empty. I need my curtains, but those are stuff we packed up. And this is the office. It's empty. We just had to take my clothes. <laughs> and then our bedroom is also empty. And we just had to take Albert's clothes. Your closet looks so organized. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then the bathroom. We just have stuff that people need if they're here to clean. So we have our toilet paper, our freshener, and a towel. That's it. This is done too. Cause I emptied all of this out. So we are working on the closet. My husband moved this bookcase. I saw something on Pinterest where somebody moved their Billy bookcase from Ikea into their closet and folded up their clothes. So I think it's a really good use of vertical space. And then we'll each have two little sections of hanging clothes. And then, so that's what we have right now so far. I'm excited to bring our clothes over and see how they're gonna fit. But I think this is gonna be really nice. With that being said, guys, I'm going to close out today's vlog. That was the weekend of us moving all of our big stuff into the house. And now I'm focusing on nesting, getting my son's stuff ready, which is very important because he could be here any second. If you like the home content and you want to see more of it, please give this video a like. Comment down below which room you think is has the most promise and is gonna turn out the best. I will take you guys on to the journey with me, but I will see you guys in my next video.